Hey, I'm Scotty, and this is part two of my people sketching series, where I share with you three more in-depth tips to help you sketch people more easily. I'm focusing this time on more trickier poses like these seated figures. So in tip number one, we're gonna go in depth on how to sketch a seated figure using a silhouette. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ignore the arm and the bag and the knee at first and just get the body shape in. Okay, so we start at the top as usual. And we get a very loose, I'm holding the pen loosely in the middle of the pen, very loose silhouette. Just the head and I'll make sure I've got the chin here because I wanna know the length of the head later. We'll go through a bit of the proportions, how to draw proportions of a seated figure a bit later on. Okay, so now I'm going down to, I'm skipping where the arm is, I'm just going down to the bottom. And then we have a foot here, the shoe. But what I really wanna focus on is the length of the body. So I'm not even looking at that arm, I'm not looking at the knee. Draw the shoe. Got some nice sneakers. Okay, that sneaker a little bit lower. So I recommend when you're drawing really fast silhouettes of seated figures, I would just get in this main body shape and the leg shape here. So now we can look at the arms. The elbow comes out to there. And the hand, it's very quick. To find where the knee was, I was actually checking my proportions very quickly, which I'll show you later, which is a bit trickier when you have a seated figure. Um, and I also was checking this point of the shoulder and this point of the knee to see if it was about the same angle. Now to find this point of the knee, I can see it's a bit higher than the other knee. It comes in about there. Let's draw the shoulder. And then the hand it can just be a box like that. And then you can draw some fingers within the box. So I have a little square here and a little square here. Same with here. The great thing about fast sketching is you don't have to focus on those things too much. And if I make mistakes, I can just draw a second line. Now I can come in and do the leg and find that t-shirt. Now I'm just doing that by looking at the sketch where things are instead of um, doing each part at the beginning. You can add in these little breaks. Now the neck, this will help show that he's turning his head like that. Now I'm going back to drawing the bag. So I didn't put him in before because I think that would have distracted. So now I'm happy I could get that shape. If I had started drawing all the arms in first and maybe trying to get that knee, it would have been a lot harder. Now my first video I talked about drawing the face with seven strokes. So I'm gonna use those that same tip here, the eyebrows, and then we do the bottom of the nose, just a little dark line like that. And then we can do the split between the lips and then just a little line under the bottom lip. And then we go to the eyes, just do a line. A little bit of a darker point on the left for the iris, another line thicker on that side. And there he's looking to the side. Okay, you can see it's very messy, very loose. Okay, so tip number two is about foreshortening. For this reference is about the knee and how I can draw that knee as it's coming towards me. So again, starting from the top, I'm gonna to start with this silhouette method to keep it very simple. I'm ignoring the hand. Because the arm here is quite a nice shape, I might draw that. It's nice and side on for me to do. Fits in, <laughs> fits in there with the other sketch. Okay, so there's about the bottom. I'm gonna sock. Okay, so I've done the basic silhouette there. You can see I didn't draw the arm here. I kept this leg here for later. So, so with this kind of technique, when you're drawing quickly, you're not measuring off things. You have to eyeball a few things. So I'm going to guess where this knee is. Um, so where it's foreshortening, I wouldn't try and draw the side of the leg here. I'd go straight to the knee because that's the most important part. So I can see the knee comes down from his chin and across from that knee. So that's where I'm going to start because that's the main point I want to get right. I don't want to start on the hip and try to draw the same length up into here. I don't even know where that jacket is. So I'm going for that important point and it's coming down here and then this part of the legs of the pants stop at the same point there and then we go down and we can draw the shoe now i'm going to work my way down to find the other features so here's the chin and there's a hand that goes across there and then i'll draw the neck so building down these features comparing comparing them each to the last feature 
is quite a complex figure with lots of different clothing. You can break up the face. Look here, shadow of the nose. And the bottom lip, a line for the eye. This line is slightly shorter because his head's turned. So you can't see as much of the eye. So now I can add in a few lines for the fingers. He's got some awesome socks. I'm gonna have fun using some watercolor on this later. The lines to add some nice detail to the face. So before we go on to my last tip, I'll do another example using those first two tips. So starting at the top, let's draw this nice red hat. Okay, then that's the shoulder. Okay. With clothes like this, I would recommend having a guess. With clothing like this, I'll just have a, a guess, make it expressive and loose, um, and then get the main features like the feet and the hands later. Bottom is there, and then coming in at this angle. Looks like the foot is here. I'll ignore the hand for now like I have been, coming across here. Sorry, it's all overlapping. So there's a quick silhouette. It was really important for me to find this point at the bottom. Um, then I can base where the feet go. So I'll show you in the next sketch how to find that point. Now I've got the silhouette. I can do a boxy shape for the hand here and the elbow comes out to here. Lines like that. Because I'm more confident where it fits, it's much easier. Okay, the hair is like this. Shoulders about there. The clothing comes all the way down past the bottom and then another hand. So just looking at the outside silhouette. Fingers. Between the bottom and the chin, that knee point was about halfway. I could see that as I was sketching. Now I can add in the details here. Not much space for the bag. I'll get these stripes in. Really nice to have a bit of detail like this to give contrast between the different areas and this this leg here is foreshortened but i didn't draw that thigh in i just started at the the knee and drew down to the foot so tip number three is using proportions correctly on a seated figure in my first video i talked about when they were standing straight and it was easy to divide the figure up i talked about using the head and then going down three to the crotch and then three to the ankles when they're seated i just wanted to emphasize this so we start at the top and Draw the silhouette of this girl here like this. Okay, so the important thing is to get proportions, I find, is to find the head length. The way I do that is I've got the silhouette of the head and then I draw the chin. So I know the length. So from the shoulder you go down three heads. One, two, three. So at this point, that is where you see the bottom on the chair or on the ledge here. So when I get that, from the shoulder, one, two, three, I know that's where I can stop. So the tricky part now is how long is this leg? When I first did this, I measured from here to the knee, being one and a half heads. So then the knee was very, very short. It didn't make sense. So that was my mistake. So actually you wanna measure the leg from the end of this round part of the bottom. So about here. So on a standing figure, we go three heads from the crotch to the ankles. So we measure here, from this side of the bottom, one and a half to the knee, and then another one and a half to the ankle. With this particular reference, because it's focused in, the leg looks slightly longer, but I'm gonna continue with the silhouette. Silhouette comes down like this, just to get a rough idea of where things are. So because I can come one and a half heads to the knee, one and a half heads down to the ankle, I can draw the shoe. So hopefully you can see that even with that other jacket there. So now I can confidently go from here. So that is where the thigh is and then goes down to here. The other knee. Okay, now we can go up and finish off the rest of the details up here. There's the neck. Get the shoulder in here. We can't even see where the elbow is. But that is just the expressive nature of just sketching quickly. We don't have to work that out. So then the hairline is about there. So we put in the eyebrows, the split between the lip, one line for the eye. So add some details onto the jumper and the seam. Hold the pen a bit lighter here. So to finish this off with a very light wash, I'm gonna use my new Karataki watercolor paints here and try those out. And thank you so much to my Patreon members who support me each month uh, to make these regular videos. I actually have a new tier which is for people who want to get more in depth in learning, where you can vote or request on topics you want me to cover and I can make specific videos each month for you guys. 
Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.